Today we're doing something a little different on Diamond Star Pilot. We're going to have a race. We're going to uh, St. Petersburg, Florida with some friends for a little uh, vacation. I'll be flying the Diamond from Concord to St. Petersburg. Uh, my friend Jim lives in Charlotte. He'll be flying commercial from Charlotte to St. Petersburg. Uh, he's not a big fan of flying in the little plane with me. He has done it in the past, but uh, this was a little too long of a flight for him and he just decided to go commercial. So it makes for a, a great chance for us to see which is faster, door to door, flying GA versus flying commercial. Now, obviously if we're going to California, I can't win that one. Uh, but here I have no fuel stop and um, they're predicting a tailwind, which is kind of odd because I never get a tailwind. I usually have headwinds in both directions. So we'll see if that really pans out. But we're going to start timing this when I'm about 10 miles from the Concord Airport. Uh, that's about how far Jim is from the Charlotte airport. And the door-to-door -door time is what we're looking for. Now, I have a few things working for me. Uh, I don't have to go through security. I can park right next to my hangar. I can take off pretty much whenever I want. And I can fly directly into Albert Witted Airport, which is in the, the center of St. Petersburg. Uh, Jim, on the other hand, has to fly to Tampa, which is the closest airport that American flies to that he's going to be on. And then he has to drive from Tampa to St. Pete. So I've got a little advantage there. Obviously the airspeed is gonna kill me, right? They fly at about 474 knots, something like that. I'm about 130 knots. So I have to make up all my time in the things that happen before or after the flight to have a chance at this. Now knowing Jim, he probably won't check a bag, which would really help out me uh, if he would check a bag and have to wait that carousel. But he will probably just carry on and carry off. So I won't get that. So I've really gotta make sure that I get my pre-flight, get up in the air, get to St. Pete as quick as I can to have a chance to win this thing. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, a trip of this size normally takes me just under four hours flight time. Uh, but today, if I get the tail when they're predicting, it'll be three and a half hours. So we're going to start the timer here in just a minute and see, is it faster to fly commercial or general aviation? Let the race between commercial and private begin. I'm going to leave my house at 1130 to head to Charlotte Airport for direct flight to Tampa. Um, I will post more later. All right, so I am now 10 miles from the Concord Airport. So I'm gonna start the clock. It is 7.07 .07 a.m. I might be cheating just a little bit. I'm using the toll lanes because this is rush hour and Charlotte traffic on the I-77 is notoriously bad. Uh, if I don't use the toll lanes, this is gonna take me a lot longer. So I'm doing that. I'm also gonna call ahead and have them pull the plane out and top it off so I don't have to wait for that. Try to get everything in my favor as best as I can. Okay, here we are at the airport. It took about 22 minutes to get to parking. Uh, next stop will be on the other side of security. I'm TSA pre-check and carry on only. So um, hopefully the TSA lines are short. We'll be in quickly. All right, just arrived at the airport at 721. Let's get pre-flighted, loaded up and in the air. About 25 minutes to get to security. Um, next is boarding at 1.30. So uh, just kill some time until then. All right, so I've hit a little snafu. It's uh, 8.10 and the plane is all ready to go, fueled up, pre-flighted, loaded, and uh, just did a briefing on my route. And they're, uh, they're having some icing at the altitudes I want to be at, actually all the way down to like 3,000 feet. So I'm going to have to give it a little time, see if that uh, moves out of the area before I take off. So this is uh, this is not helping my case any, but we'll see how it goes. All right, 9 o'clock. Supposed to take off at 8.30, so about a half hour delay. But I don't mess with icing. I changed my altitude down a couple thousand feet, changed my route to the west a little bit. And hopefully that will... Uh, everything for me. Concord Ground Diamond 526, Delta Sierra, I'd like to pick up my IFR to us here. Papa Golf, please. Diamond Star 526, Delta Sierra, Concord Ground, clear to the Springfield Airport via the Knights 3 departure. Radar vectors to Charlotte then is filed. Maintain 3,000. Expect 4,000 within one zero minutes. Departure control frequency for Charlotte's 128.32, squawk 2546. I cleared to Sierra Papa Golf, Knights 3, radar vectors in this file, 3,000, 4,000 after 10 zero minutes, 128.32, squawk 2546. The 6 Delta Sierra, read back correct, Whiskey's current advisor of the taxi. Welcome, 526 Delta Sierra. I am flying left seat today, 
I don't fly left seat very often. I flew it last week and I was a little rusty on my landing, so forcing myself to do it more uh, with the stick. I don't think it's a sight picture as much as controlling the stick with the left hand, just those landings get a little bit rusty. Oh, practice makes perfect. All right, question mark, we go, landing, strobe, we've set our backups, breakers, are in. Flaps are to take off, fuel pump on. Full prop, full rich, uh, fullest tank, they're both and trim to take off, and we are on tower. Cockroach tower, 526, does here, holding short of two, ready to go. Number 526 Delta Sierra, fly runway heading, maintain 3000, clear for takeoff, runway 2. Runway heading 3000, clear for takeoff 2, 526 Delta Sierra. Alright, we are clear on approach. Alright, on center line, feet to floor. And rotate. Alright, flaps up, and prop back to 2400, alright, fuel pump off, and let's do an initial lead, alright, here we go, 1475, beautiful, alright, it was good, the weather looks like it's north and east of us, south looks fine. There are 526 Delta Sierra, show at departure at end, show at number 3016. Item 16526 Delta Sierra. Uh, 526 Delta Sierra, radar contact, four miles north of Concord. You can climb, maintain 4,000. Climb, maintain 4,000, 526 Delta Sierra. 4,000 is a little lower than I would usually fly this uh, flight on, but the uh, freezing level wasn't, or the freezing level is at 4,000. Bases were between 7 and 9. Uh, so 6,000 was what I was originally going to fly. That was a little close to those uh, bases with freezing. Oh, this will be fine. 4,000 is not bad. Six Delta Sierra, fly heading at 270. 270, Six Delta Sierra. Six Delta Sierra, I'll get you southbound here in uh, about another 15 miles. We just got to get to the west side of the departure lanes. No problem. Five to Six Delta Sierra. So, normally when I go south, I would come down the east side of the Bravo and uh, avoid this because I don't like going right over their approach and departure uh, airways because they do this to you. They route you around. Which, I'm sorry, who is it? which they need to do. But today all the icing uh, that was predicted was going to be east or so. I'm actually, uh, I plotted a plan right over the Charlotte BOR was my starting point, but as we can see here, there's... 98198, uh, okay, you need flight follow? They're going to circle me around to the left side of the field, or the west side. Uh, so a little longer, but keeps me out of that icing. Well, I wanted to stay west of the icing weather. I'm getting my wish. I don't know if this shows up on camera, but if you look right here, that's the Charlotte Airport. And you can't really see it because it's covered. Covered with so many targets, you can't even see it. And here we are out here, just pushing out of their way. Number 6 Delta Sierra, clear direct Andes. Direct Andes, 6 Delta Sierra. Right, I'm going to shut down for a while. I don't expect anything to happen for a bit. We'll, uh, we'll check back closer in and we'll check our time and see where we stand. All right, so we're back probably uh, 45 minutes or so outside of uh, St. Pete, uh, 12.30 at the present time. Uh, it's probably going to put us in there 1.30ish, is my guess. I left you, I was getting routed all around Charlotte, and on route they gave me three or four route changes. They weren't major, but they all added a little time. They had to route me around some uh, restricted areas that were hot, and uh, a couple other things that they were uh, trying to get me around. So it's all added time. But that's part of GA flying. We'll see how the total comes in. It's been a nice flight, though. Uh, the icing never materialized. I stayed below the, cl below the clouds uh, until they cleared out. Then I climbed up, got over a few of these little puffy cumulus clouds. It's been a smooth flight. I'm interested to see, uh, even with all the delays, what uh, what the final tally is compared to flying commercial. All right, so now we're getting we're getting routed yet again around Tampa, bringing me out over the Gulf and down the coast instead of a direct line. Number 6 Delta Sierra, proceed direct over with it. Direct with it, 526 Delta Sierra. Number 6 Delta Sierra, descend to maintain 2000. Down to 2000, 6 Delta Sierra. Number 6 Delta Sierra, descend to maintain 1600, advise with it, airport in sight, 12 o'clock and 8 miles. Set 1600, have field in sight, 526 Delta Sierra. 6 Delta Sierra, if you can, hustle down the descent there, clear the approach on my 36. For the approach on 36, and we'll expedite this set, 526 Delta Sierra. 
Number 6 Delta Sierra, contact with it, tower 127.4. Over to tower, good day, 526 Delta Sierra. Upper Wooded Tower, 526 Delta Sierra is 3 to the northwest. Get down, we'll stop. 526 Delta Sierra, Wooded Tower, extend down when you're following Saratoga traffic, two mile final. All right, extend down when I'll be looking for traffic, 526 Delta Sierra. 6 Delta Sierra, you can start your base now. Runway 36, clear to land, verify your destination on the airport. All right, turn your base, clear to land, 36, we're going to the FBM. Reg. Skyfox 1, which uh, airport do you want to talk to next? I just wanted to park straight eastbound. Uh, I don't need to talk to anybody else. Capbox 1. Capbox 1, alright. Just remain clear of uh, McDill's airspace then. Out of below 1,100. You can proceed on course south eastbound. Alright, on course uh, eastbound uh, Skyfox 1 and all in a clear. Wooded Tower, pilot number 15323. Holding short on runway 36 at Bravo 1, ready for departure. 6 Delta Sierra, turn left on 25, tax down 25, right at Delta 2 into the FBO. Have a great day. All right, left on 25 to the FBO. Have a good day. 5 to 6 Delta Sierra. All right, so we have touchdown at uh, 110. We'll have to do some calculations, see how long that took. Uh, landed in Tampa, 323. 355 in the rental car in St. Pete, or no, in Tampa. On our way to St. Pete, we're waiting for the one in our crew who always checks his bag. So as always, we're waiting for him. All right, we made it to the uh, Airbnb um, in St. Pete's at 4.40 p.m. <laughs>